I'm making jackfruit pulled pork style. Um, let me shoot this aside. Burger. Anyways, drain, rinse your jackfruit, cut up some onions, sorry, onions and uh, garlic. And uh, once the pan gets hot, which is already hot, you're gonna put your onions and uh, jackfruit and all the mixtures in there. All right, so pan is hot now, I think. And um, I'm gonna add all my quarter of an onion, your garlic, and the jackfruit comes afterwards. So I can't do it just with one hand, so I'll do it. Here we go, I'll just cook it into it brown. And then you add the jackfruit afterwards. Um, two, one and a half cloves of garlic, the onions, a quarter of onions, one can of jackfruit. It's gonna be for like two servings. I'll probably squeeze out three servings for this. Let that simmer. Then put that and brown. All right, looks brown enough. Jackfruit time. And you cook it for 8 to 10 more minutes until soft. So now the fun part. I try not to crush it while it's in the pan because it actually had the juices to come out of this uh, was burning up or dissolving or evaporating with the heat. So I decided to move it onto this pan and now I'm mashing it with the mashed potato pressure thing. Um, I actually took it off the heat a little bit less than the time that it was asking for because it felt like it was done. Uh, I didn't want to dry it out completely. Um, that. And that is my kid again causing chaos. You see how this thing's turning out like little pulled pork? style and then supposedly you're supposed to spread this out I never did this step before but I'm gonna follow the recipe spread it out onto this baking pan I preheated the oven to 400 already um, and we'll see it supposedly gives the little strands a little crispiness and finishes off cooking process on this uh, jackfruit and then I believe after that you start putting in the barbecue sauce so I'll take a look at the recipe and see what it says. Doesn't it look like cool pork? Whoa! If you move it really fast you can't tell. And then you start seeing these little pieces. I don't know what they are. Little eyes of the jackfruit. But here goes in the oven. Uh, see how that looks afterwards. Alright so I'm actually making a slaw. Um, I really never liked slaws on my um, on my barbecue porks, but I'm gonna give it a try. Um, and the mayo, I don't really like mayo by itself, so when mixed with coleslaw, I don't really like it. But we'll see how it tastes um, in this recipe. One and a half cups. I'm gonna bring it down. Um, I'm not gonna put that much mayo in there because um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it. But I added sugar, mayo in this, um, black pepper, and white vinegar, and um, I'm gonna toss this up. A little salt and in the coleslaw and see how it turns out. Okay, so it's a little drying out. We'll see how it is. And then the, this is the coleslaw. It's not so much and drenched. And this is my coleslaw. It's a little not so drenched in mayo because I don't really like mayo. So we'll see how that turns out. I found out I only have one pair of buns and they're so thin, there's last ones. It's going to be a horrible presentation on those burgers. Um, those barbecue burgers. This I think is getting a little too dry in my taste. I'm gonna take them out already. 
And instead of those eight minutes that I was asking for, and I'll put the barbecue sauce on them and continue cooking them for a little bit more. So I added the barbecue and it smells delicious. Um, my wife says not yummy. You want me to put you on YouTube? No. Yeah, we can, we can show your little whatever that hair thing is over there. Give me that pulled pork. And I'm gonna add a little bit more because I'm gonna put it back in the oven for a little bit. All right, let's pile this thing on. Yes, I do have a Christmas midden from a long time ago, like 10 Christmas ago. And my wife done it. Let's pile this on. It should be Christmas every day. Look at that. Look at that pulled pork. Get some more. Actually, I'm gonna save this for tomorrow. Even though I don't have any buns. So that's piled on. And now let's do some slaw that I don't know if I'm gonna like, but hey. Oh, I should have put more barbecue sauce before I put that slaw on. Put more barbecue yeah. sauce just because. Okay, that's enough. Put that slaw back on. This on top. There you go. Wow. Delicious, look at that. Mm -hmm. So it actually tasted better as I went and ate it. The coleslaw, yeah, I could have needed a little bit more mayo and actually realized why they put coleslaw on this stuff. Um, it's pretty delicious whatnot.